Marcus, many, many congratulations for all the work you've done for vulnerable children throughout the year. Yeah, I'd like to say thank you for the award, but also a big thank you to, to everyone who's, who's helped me in, in any way. Why is it that you feel so passionately about this cause, Marcus? You, you know when, you, when you're a kid and you, you truly believe in something, um, and there's nothing that can really knock you off that track if, if um, you believe something's true or whatever it may be. I, I believe that the, the structure needs to, has needed to change for a long time. And I believe that in the future, kids deserve a, a, a better chance and families deserve a better chance to become successful. Your mum, Melanie, is side by side with you in this campaign. And uh, when you got your MBE, fantastic congratulations on that, by the way, Marcus, you went on record and you said this shouldn't be for me, it should be for my mum. She lived the struggle and that's why it means the world to me that she's that she's happy now and like you say, she's she's right next to me with everything that I do and um, you know, she believes as, as just as strongly as I do that things do need to change um, and whenever there was any setback, she was the first person to ring me and just to tell me, you know, don't worry, just keep going. It helps me not lose sight of, of why, it, why it is that I started it. And, you know, I won't stop until I, until I reach the end goal. You've taken on and beaten the government twice. I mean, in football terms, you've let in an early goal and you've come back to win the game. Astonishing. <laughs> Yeah, it's been um, a difficult period for everyone, you know, with the lockdowns and with the virus going about. I remember at the beginning of the year, I, I was injured as well, so um, I was really, I was really down. That actually gave me the determination and drive that I was missing from, from obviously not being involved in in football games, and I just put everything I had into into that. A couple of people have said to me, who, who I mentioned, I was talking to, that said you must get him to talk about his love of football and how the game enables him to do what he does. Like all the good things that have happened this year, it's come from Manchester United giving me the opportunity as a kid. Because I, I I don't just remember like the last year or the last five years. I'm talking about when, you know, times when nobody in my family drove and I had to get to training and United had people to, to come and take me to to the training ground and take me back home. Um, when I was six, seven, eight years old, nine years old, I'm talking about the times when they put me into accommodation, um, when my mum was struggling at home, um, when I was 11 years old and I was there up until 16, um, 17. So it, it's, it's a lot deeper than what people see sometimes. I think people only see like some of the stuff that's that's been happening since I've been in the first team. But the, the bond that I have with with United is much greater than, than just the, the, these last five years. And it will forever be uh, greater than, probably greater than my actual career because the, um, they, they're the reason that I've become a, a footballer really. They give me the opportunity to, to express myself and to find out that I, that I had talent in football. You use the word there, Marcus, forever. Can you ever see yourself playing for any other club than Manchester United? Um, you know, for, for me, I, I never look um, beyond Manchester United. And, you know, as a, as a kid, I've never looked beyond Manchester United. Um, in my mind, I, I just, it wouldn't sit right for me to be, you know, pulling on another shirt. And um, I just want to do my best I can for the club whilst I'm, whilst I'm here. So, um, yeah, long term, hopefully I'm, I'm here for a long time. Are you getting help, uh, Marcus, from your fellow pros? A lot of players have shown huge interest, and um, you know, many many people have uh, donated to the cause. But it's not the donations that are important to me. It's it's the it's the fact that they they actually want to understand it more, and that the questions that they ask me about it, and the detail that they want to understand, that's the change that I want to see more than more than anything. So if we can change the way we see um, you know children and, and how we want their future to look like because their future is our future as well we have to remember that and um, that's why I'm so passionate about protecting them and giving them the best chance they can at becoming whatever it is that they want to be. Marcus thanks for joining us many congratulations to you and to all our other very special winners in this section well done.